takes us uh, immense pleasure to be presenting the first paper at SV90 Surat at the International Conference of Industrial Engineering. Uh, with a cutthroat competition and China taking every market from Ganesh idols to mobile phones to automobiles, wherein we, the customer requirement is low cost and best quality. Every industry is trying their best making strategic decisions implying at uh, the shop floor. We have chosen the topic, the role of Lean Six Sigma in quality management practices, a case study. Now what different it is, we'll come on to this. Before that, I'd like to introduce, hi, I'm Govinda Jakutia. Hi, I'm Prashant Agarwal. Hi, I'm Amit Malena. Now we are uh, from class of B Mechanical. We have completed our B Mechanical course. This was a part of our B project. This is done at the guidance of Dr. A.K. Bevu and uh, Mr. A.S. Ravde, where we implemented this case study. He is a master of blackmail and MR of Galvare Polisters. Now, this is some of the highlights about the paper. Now, this paper discusses what research previously has been done uh, in the field of integration model, that is the present QMS system, and uh, Lean and Six Sigma all together. Then the DMAC methodology, like the define, major, analyze, improve, and control. All these stages we have taken care of uh, while implementing this case study. And we have tried to use the tools of LSS, that is Pareto, Fishbone Diagram, FMEA, etc. Now, this is one-to-one -one, uh, comparison with the present QMS system, Six Sigma in Lean, that is objective, strategy, everything like the documentation and part. I would like to just highlight that is monetary benefits to customer satisfaction. The CPOC analysis is all what we have taken care of. Documentation, what all is required and what we took into consideration while implementing this case study. Uh, we will come on to this later. These are some of the early contributions to the uh, combined model. Uh, this is something about the company. Uh, Darwari Polyester is located at uh, MIDC Ahangabad and is supplying polyester and some control films to around 80 countries. Now this comes to the first part of actual case study what <coughs> business need is, what the problem statement was and what the goal statement was, that is reduction in B grade generation film and reduction in base generation. Now what B grade generation is, what B, uh, the B grade generation material is uh, sold at the domestic market, that they cannot export it. Due to the stringent quality control uh, criteria uh, at uh, other countries. Uh, now, the uh, data I collected is for the 10 months, and uh, the B grade uh, generation was about 15.25%. And out of that, uh, out of that uh, with parallel analysis, we could analyze that of core impression, winding impression, and spot defects, it, uh, it contributed to about 9.18% of the total waste. So, the goal statement we decided was from 9.18% to 5% from H line and 9.18% to 4% at I line. The two lines we have uh, taken care of in this case study and accordingly the goal has been decided. Uh, this is the operational framework. The clause wise comparison, uh, what ISO says in various clauses, what the DMAT says and what are the different tools we have bifurcated. Uh, now this comes the first part of the DMAT analysis, define stage. At the company has already implemented a QMS system. The company is already implementing Six Sigma. It is up to some Sigma level, not up to Six Sigma level, but up to some Sigma level. We'll come on to that later and what actual value the company is at. So the various audit process goes on in the company. So with non-confirmation reports, the voice of the customer, the customer feedback, the data sheets, we could analyze them. And we come to the conclusion of the critical to quality parameters and those are the tiny spots, core impression, winding impression, die line and joints. These are the five critical to quality, the major one contributing to the uh, waste and we have uh, focused the study on that. My colleague Krishan Thank you Govinda. Spots basically are film, films rejected due to the contamination in the film which is visible. You can see here, this is the acceptable role and this is the role which has defects that are spots on it. Core impressions. Basically, these are films rejected due to the impressions developed on the film because there are defects on the core. This is 
the core and this is the film on which they are fixed. The winding impressions are basically the films rejected due to the impression of the film in the traverse direction developed during winding. You can have a look at the pictures. This is the SIPOC that we have prepared. SIPOC is basically supplier to end user process flow. So basically the supplier gives the raw material and the requirement basically is the tight film, metal film and the process which is then followed has it should not have color spots on it, no shade variations. And then finally the requirement of the customer, that is the final product, that is the laminate film. The customer also has some specifications which he says is that it should not have spots, it should not have curling, no winding impressions. Now we come to the second part, that is the measure. There are three critical to qualities that we have already discussed, that is spots, score impressions and winding impressions. The, re the next part is the critical to process, that is adhesive filtration, dust due to man movement. In core impressions, the critical to process is use of paper core, use of damaged steel core, and in winding impressions, it is adhesive deposition and misalignment of Dr. Pray. This is the Pareto chart that we have done. In this, you can see that 60% of rejection is due to, due to the tiny spots, the first one, the winding impressions, and the core impressions. Now, we come to the third part of the project, that is the analysis. Now, this is basically the root cause analysis, that is the fishbone diagram. The main thing in this is that rejection due to the core impressions. So, there are four parts in it, man, material, machine and method. And the rest given are uh, its sub-parameters. Now, the tiny spots. Why do we have tiny spots? Tiny spots are because of adhesive filtration and dust due to man movement. So now, what is adhesive filtration? What happens is, there is a filter which is attached and after 300 hours of rigorous work, what happens is there is uh, there's a choking in the filter. So because of the choking, there are spots develop. So what happened is the company used to take out the filter after th more than 300 hours, that is around 380 hours that we saw. And what happened when we had a look over it, when we surveyed the whole thing, we suggested that why not reduce the time and uh, remove the filter at 288 hours and when we did this, we found that the, the number of spots on the film reduced a lot. The next is dust due to man movement. What the conclusion we find out, found out is more man movement and frequent door openings lead to the increase of spots. So what we decided and what we discussed over the water action plan was uh, air curtains installed in both the lines, that is H and I line. Aprons and boiler suits to be provided to the working personnel and double door provided at mixing entrance. Now we come to the core, imp uh, core impressions. The core impressions are basically because of the use of paper core and surface damage in the steel cores. So what our action plan was that we avoid using paper cores and we use good quality of steel cores. Coming to winding impressions, what we find, found out is uh, the winding impressions are basically due to the doctor blade, blade misalignment. So what we gave uh, a solution to it was you could align the mass, uh, doctor blade properly and lay pressure to be maintained at uh, fixed pressure. My friend Anupil Thank you, Now let us come to the third phase of DMI methodology that is the improved phase. Now unless and until you show improvements and unless and until the methodologies which you have proposed are not put to practice, then the top management, top management support is unlikely to get placed because if it doesn't see the profitability in use of Lean Six Sigma, then things won't go as per it is, it, they are decided. Now this is the first step of the improved uh, phase was to carry out FMEA, that is failure mode effect analysis, analysis. Now the most important part of this phase is that you make sure the number of phase a product can go wrong, the number of phase the process can go wrong, then you calculate the risk priority number. The significance of risk priority number is that more the risk priority number, then more is the attention to be paid to the defects or the processes like mentioned here. The risk priority number was 448 in case of spot generation during filtration and then it was 384 for the second process. So, 
the management could prioritize that more attention is to be paid for the first and second for this. Now these are the improvements after LSS. Uh, the figures speaks for themselves. Uh, you can see from the graph that 15.49 percent was uh, the target was to reduce it to around 4.8 percent. We have significantly reduced it to around 5 to uh, 5.82 percent. Now these are the in figures like the uh, average uh, production per month, and uh, this was the number of defects which were arising. These were drastically reduced to around 19 uh, 1 from 22 in the past six months. Similar is the case for defects in tiny spots. You can see from the figure there has been a consistent decrease. Now this uh, is the sigma level of the company. Before Six Sigma project was implemented, the sigma level was 3.4. That means the defects per million opportunities were 24,000. <coughs> Out of 10 lakh uh, products manufactured, 24,000 were defective. Then after that, after implementing Six Sigma for around three months, the sigma level was upgraded to 4.4 percent, which accounts to around 1,800 defects per 10 lakh pieces. Now, for a company to be called as a Six Sigma company, then it has to reduce down the defect to 3.4 per million opportunities. So you, as you can see, after applying so many principles, tools and techniques, there's way to go for the company to reach up to the Six Sigma level. Now, the, this is the last phase, which is a control phase, which actually takes care of the process which are implemented are being monitored or not, because it needs tremendous amount of rigorous assessment, and these are the tools which we have used, methodologies which we have adopted. Here we can draw the conclusion, as uh, we have calculated the hard gains and soft gains, what have been uh, the utility factor of Clean Six Sigma, hard gains which are tangible, you can uh, calculate them in terms of the economics, uh, around 20 lakhs have been saved per month after implementation and there are there are innumerable soft gains which are not restricted to only improvement in product quality, moral gain, uh, reduction in cost or increase in contribution. So this, these are the conclusions which we have drawn on the basis of the case study which we conducted that uh, up till now ISO, Six Sigma and Lean in terms of a case study were not implemented on this level, so we have made an attempt to make sure that all things go in place and plus you don't need to waste your time and money in uh, applying separate uh, teams for implementing ISO, Six Sigma and Lean. So there is a uh, reduction in documentation as well as manpower. These are just the references and uh, we welcome questions. What do they do with the effective product? Thank you so much for the question. So they sell in the domestic market. That is not completely rejected. <laughs> because that is rejected. It's a bad part. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I'll just uh, tell you one uh, incident that the customer uh, we got it in Japan. Yes. That was a very simple question. Simple. 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 It's nice to hear presentation from students, PhD students. Really, the credit goes to your time. This has given you so much of learning experience for you at this stage. It's really commendable. Because yes. at B level, actually going to the field, collecting the data, interpreting and getting life of the project, it itself is a great experience rather than scoring marks in theory. It was actually very, very, right. very good presentation. Three very months. Nice. Three months very to understand nice. the theory yeah. part, what nice. six sigma is, and then going on to the field and doing what. So, very good, sir. More importantly, this has certainly added something to the industry. Also. Yeah, definitely. It shows the confidence it's not which just they a are piece of paper, which is just a debate or something like that. It has contributed both. It's nice. Right. Right. We are very happy. Thank you, sir. Thank you.